pretty hard reading the Sun Journal article by Andrew Rice. Um, you know, the the article itself is very one-sided. Um, I know myself and uh, was not contacted regarding any of the connections that Andrew made. Um, it seemed he intended to connect us to racism. It seemed he intended to prejudice us and prejudice Ed and prejudice this whole situation so that no one would believe our words. But luckily, Ed recorded. I mean, I could go and read the whole article, but, you know, really I'm just going to draw attention to the very end where he says, Majerus Collins claimed that between the alleged incident and when the videos were released, he's spoken to Ed, or he's spoken to Hill half a dozen times and that, quote, it has been nothing but pleasant, end quote. The pair sat next to each other during county budget meetings, he said, as recently as September. He said Hill called him in early September to ask him to drop Khalid from the race, but that he declined. Well, that's not what I hear. I made that clear to you, so it wasn't like it was a big surprise. 
surprise. Not not a surprise. I knew not, not only that I appreciated the decision you made at the time. And I and I and like I said, I thought I was going to be doing something else. And you saw what kind of a, a, a shit show that turned out to be. Uh, you know, uh, at the like, I'm still trying to figure out who who that um, that 16th bro. I mean, to have Margaret come down there after I literally put in hundreds of hours on her campaign, running phone banks. I mean, that yeah. just you know, that was like everybody else I could, uh, you know, I, I could understand, you know, but it's like, Margaret is like, every every night I, 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 I would feed those people out of my own pocket, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, and it just, it just, yeah, you know, so I guess the, the, the clincher was, was when I was telling you we need to do it a certain way or they could contest it. And you told me, well, we'll just have Tom Reynolds run it. So at that point, I knew that I, there, there, there was nothing I could do. You know, it was it was what it was. That you were just going to do it whatever way you wanted. And there weren't being any parliamentary procedures. There wouldn't, you know, and the, the, the notice never got put out like I kept pleading about you know, so I'm like, and then and then there's a 16th vote that disappears. You know, I mean, appears. Well, no, there were there were there were 25 votes cast, 15 for Mark and 10 for you. Well, uh, that's no not that's not how I remember. I remember him getting 16 votes. He did not get 15 votes. He got 15 votes. And, and if somebody told you he got 16 votes, if he's saying he got 16 votes, that's not true. Well, no, it's not that. I was sitting right there when they counted. They said 16, 10. That's why when I mentioned it to you, you said, uh, no, 15 to 10. And that wasn't a bad bad showing. But my point is, is that, is that I'm not getting any younger. And, and, and just to give you an idea of, of the, the screwery, uh, when they opened up these new seven spots, I went to the meetings and I put up with the dirty looks from Dip and they asked people to run. And nobody from my district wanted to run, so I raised my hand. I, I talked to Elaine on the phone a few times. I talked to Tom. I went and got there. They, you know, made like that we were all, you know, working towards the same goals. And then on the weekend prior to the uh, deadline, they ran around and they're like not technically adopted gay step last on whatever. They put his name on the ballot, a 20 year old kid who wasn't even gonna be here. And Tom had told me that uh, when I said, you know, I, I didn't go uh, and complain or anything, but I had gotten hurt right. and I was crippled that whole thing. And they, 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 they turned out the ballot, they turned out the vote. And then the first thing he did was he went to school, so he 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 resigned from his spot, and Tom yeah. held a meeting like you did, and he named himself. Yeah. And he named he, himself. He wouldn't have he wouldn't have done that, but he was the county chair. It would have looked really bad for the county chair to run against me in a primary. Right. You know what I mean? But yeah. needless to say, the uh, the the ends that they have gone to. And it just keeps playing into the narrative. That people wonder why my aunt is so down on the Democrats and so down. They went to her house and told her that I was molesting my daughter. They went to her house. They told my aunt I was molesting her daughter. She should, her, her, her brothers all showed up when, when they threw me off uh, the committee with nothing more than that day's notice. Yeah, they, they all showed up and they cleared my nephew who fought in Iraq for two tours. They just wiped his name off them. They cleared my sister. They just wiped her name off the ballot. Anybody who they thought they could support me, and it, and it wasn't allowed because at the time, our bylaws were if you were uh, voted on at the Biennial Caucus, you were a member to the next Biennial Caucus. Right. So regardless if you showed up to meetings, regardless of if you showed up to meetings or not, you were so, so they had like ten people undo what over a hundred people did at the biennial caucus, and they didn't remove me; they just put Tom in my position. Just sitting and reading the article itself, um, 
you know, there were, there were things that even Sophia had said, you know, where she's, she's just been focusing on the positive and, you know, going out canvassing and having such a great experience. And, um, this was not something that we were contacted about. And I, I don't think it was very difficult for Andrew to have sought myself or Mora. I know Mora did have contact with him and basically said, you know, we're all set. We, we don't want to work with the Sun Journal. So that is probably why it was such a one-sided hit piece. Um, I, I find it completely unethical that he would attach us to racism the way he did because rabid racism exists in this world and in this country and in this state and especially in Lewiston. We can read it every single day of the week on Facebook that he would connect us with that and I take that personally. You know, it it was not difficult when listening to all of that to assume that after August 28th, when Kiernan left and he said, you know, let me know or tell me because you're just screwing us, that Ed was going to follow up on that when he was able to. And it wasn't that night, clearly. But when Ed did call... He had the wisdom to protect himself and record what he could. And that those recordings themselves expose another layer of Kiernan. 